In the afternoon, like usual, I let the horses out. And it depends on the weather, depends on what we do. Uh, I let them together out, and I let them out alone. And little Tibor and Rosiero have been together for a while, and you might have seen other movies where they were getting to know each other. And I decide to let them go in the big field. It's not really big, but it's better. The country is very wet, so it's impossible to let them on the grass. But what they show me, uh, I think, is beautiful. They show exactly how play is supposed to be. Little Tibor is pretty fast. He has short legs. And, well, still, he can really run as fast as Rociero can. It's pretty amazing for a small guy. And now you see a nice break. It's a very short moment of doing nothing. Just wait, look around, and tell each other in their way, like with this behavior, tell each other that they are having a play. His rearing is beautiful, and the way he gets away, comes out of his rearing and, and starts to run, it's beautiful. Except for the way how he uh, uses his body, Rociero, the golden one, it's also beautiful because you can see in this, this movie very well how they respect each other. There's a lot of biting, there's a lot of uh, jumping around, running together, etc, etc. But nobody gets hurt. It's all biting in the air. It's all bluff. Like the rearing is bluff. Nobody wants to hurt the other one. And that's one thing if you let your horses out in the field together and you watch uh, how they are acting. That's something to be very aware of, to, to look carefully. If they are fighting, separate them and l let them... Uh, let them don't let them together and make sure they, that they are safe. After all, it's our responsibility how we deal with our horses. This running together is very, very horse, pure horse behavior. And you, you can see the little Tibor how he's <laughs> running through this water with his short legs. <laughs> you see the the there it. it might appear to you like kicking, uh, but it isn't. It's, it's, it is kicking, but it's not to hurt. The intention is good. The intention is just enjoying the moment like this. It's enjoying the moment. Now he's um, going very, very strong with his back legs. But you can see him when he's in the neighborhood of the little Timor, that he doesn't do that, that he's careful. I created this. Uh, the horses live together for some time now, for a month or more, and I waited for the right moment to let them out together. And the first moments, the first three moments, you can see movies, you can find movies on, uh, on, on this behavior, are all only short moments, because Rociero, the golden one, and that's what he's trying to do now, is a stallion. And a stallion has sexual interest. And Tibor has experience with uh, stallions. Tibor says very clearly, do not uh, make love with me. Do not mate with me. He has to do that because Rociero and all other stallions are far too heavy. I also had to check out for the character of the golden horse uh, in combination with little Tibor. I think this is... I can watch for hours at this, but that's my, that's me. <laughs> if you see these horses running together, playing happy, ears forward, being very careful not to hurt the other one, then I think you created a right moment. So I take a lot of time before I put them together. I think that's very, very, very important uh, because I don't want anybody to get hurt. At the end of this game, there was a small wound on the front, one of the front legs of Rociero. It's something to worry about, but when I look back on this movie, and this is the first time that they are together in the big field, then I can see very good uh, there is no fight. Again, there's a break, and the distance, even though it might appear on some moments that there is no distance. This, These are the moments you have to see. You have to see the, the distance they keep and the respect that they give. Many times I heard stories of horses who were chasing each other and the horses get really injured. And fighting is never good. Fighting is always a sign of uh, 
being frustrated. You can see this, this little guy. He is more or less attacking, but it's hard to see in the movie. But he rears and, and lands next to uh, Ratiero. Attacks and wounds and, and stuff like that. And if that happens, then it's a sign of you have to do something about it. Because we are responsible. No matter if you say, yeah, but the horse is doing his own way. He's, he has his own responsibility. There are fences. There are responsibility. No matter what you what they, they get. And that's something that I think, uh, especially nowadays, people tend to forget. People think that horses will find it out themselves. Well, they can't. They can, if they don't like each other, they can... Ooh, there he goes. <laughs> Little Tibor is very easy in, in putting the other one down. That's the, the goal that he has. Horses who live in captivity have only the responsibility to, to eat and to drink and to stay alive. If we put them together in a field, no matter how big it is, we have to be careful that they are able to deal with each other. If they are not, if they are fighting, we have to separate them. And sometimes, uh, some time will help. How come that horses are not always friends? It's because of their lifestyle. A horse is a ho an animal who lives in herds, small herds, groups of three until ten horses together. That means that they are very clear in who belongs to the group, the herd, who doesn't belong to the herd. And you have many ways of uh, living together in herds. Yeah, you have zebras, we have, we have all kinds of animals who also live in, in herds, but who have a different lifestyle. And horses have a very special lifestyle. They have to, because even though they might look strong to us, and they are, they can hurt each other, they are actually not so strong. They have a very big body compared to their uh, legs. They, they, their legs are very, very vulnerable. And people who uh, ride horses or, or very oh there he goes again on his knees um, know how vulnerable these legs are okay let me explain this behavior on, on putting the other one down on his knees it's a way of Tibor because he's small to, to explain to the other one hey don't fuck, fuck around with me I'm sorry for the word I am Tibor and be careful because I know exactly what to do and he has to be he has to do that because he's a very small guy. So Tibor is experienced, but Tibor is also honest. Even though I have to admit that Tibor sometimes gives too much biting. Uh, he's castrated, he's gelded, and that was better because his bites were very rough. When the game uh, is, is, is okay, then I feed them. And then that, again, is a way for me to look, are they really able to deal with each other. Can I leave them behind without uh, obstruction? There's also, I have a special word, uh, for the little Tibor at least, the golden one didn't learn it yet, uh, he's starting to learn it. I have a special word so I can call Tibor anytime. He always comes on that word. And that's a very e easy uh, thing to, to teach a horse and it's very, um, it's very effective. I think you should be able to <laughs> You see him, you see him uh, relaxing. I think you have to teach a horse things uh, that are very good in the way in the way that we work with horses. Then there's something happening at the neighbors, and they're watching it. Tibor is walking back to his big friend, like as if he's saying, "What is? What is it?" And there's a sound, and our neighbor is cutting trees. I put it in the small. small video you can see him there's a man walking there with a suit and they're watching together these are all signals of horses who can deal with each other so i think they're friends <laughs>